Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to talk about the Gamma Match. This question came up as a result of a, a query from an Augie, and I want to show you a little bit about the Gamma Match. This right here is a 2 meter uh, Yagi 4 element, and this driven element is the one right here with the gamma match on it. So this is the reflector. These are two directors. This is the driven element. Now the nice thing about a gamma match is that it allows you to feed with unbalanced coax and it will match to a balanced line. Now let me show you this picture here. This shows the basics of a gamma match. I believe the capital gamma, gamma is a Greek letter, the capital looks something like that. And that's kind of what we're doing here. You see the gamma here and here. Okay, so we note that here on the antenna, this is a dipole, okay? Okay, this is a dipole right here, okay? The center point has zero voltage because the two halves are actually connected together. Okay, and it goes up to max voltage. The max current is right here. But the impedance is somewhere in here, it's 50 ohms. Okay, and you use a gamma match which consists of a capacitor. I'll show you how the capacitor is formed. It's a tube right there with an insulator around it pushed into a bigger tube and that acts as an adjustable capacitor depending on how much of the inner part is uh, exposed. And then there's a little shorting strip which takes it over to the antenna. This can give you an almost perfect one-to-one -one match if you uh, set it up right. So you've got a balanced system and an unbalanced feed line, okay? So it is very much like a ballon in the sense that it changes it from uh, unbalanced to balanced, okay? Now, if we look at what is in here, we see the center conductor here. I'm gonna take this apart. And you can see how the capacitor is formed. There's uh, an insulated part right here, and it goes in and out of this tube, okay? And then this part right here goes through the insulator, and it is going to go back in, right? Yes. Okay. Then we push this in to here, because these are the original instructions that came with the manual. And then we are going to put this, I'm going to put it back where it was, right here. And you can adjust a couple things. You can adjust how much the tube goes over to the insert. See, I've lowered the capacitance a little bit by bringing it out here. Okay, and then you can adjust where this goes, okay, whether it goes here or here, adjust it back and forth. You can also adjust the distance from here to here, although that's fixed on this antenna. Now, um, you can actually make just about anything long resonate with this sort of a match. Um, you can actually resonate a tower for your favorite uh, HF frequency as long as it's high enough because this provides the reactance that you need to make the match. So I can just put a piece of coax in here. This is mounted to a grounded mast and this part is metal, but that doesn't do anything to the antenna, except hold the spacers out. So you've got your driven element, 
reflector, director, director, okay? And you can adjust this slightly as you need to. This has been years since I first put this thing up. Okay, there you go. So what we have, if you look at a schematic, you've got the middle element. Okay, this is the middle element. This is the center. This is the coax. The outside of the shield of the coax goes to the center, which is right here. And then this goes in here, and the, this plate and this plate, which are attached to here, form a capacitor with this rod right here. So as you move this in and out, you change the capacitance. And you'll want to check this with your antenna tuner every time you do so. Get a few wavelengths away uh, when you do that. And then there is a clamp right here, which is this. It's called here a shorting strap. And this can go this way and this way with this sticking out, whatever it needs to, as a fine adjustment. And if you do that properly, you should get 50 ohms at an angle of zero, okay, for the phase. So this is how a gamma match works. It's really quite ingenious. It's one of many different ways to match. So there you have it. The gamma match is made so that you can feed a balanced item like a Yagi with unbalanced uh, coax, okay? Now this changes the reactance of this rod slightly. So you're going to find in your construction that you're going to have to shorten this rod by two to three percent. And this is already built into this thing because it's a commercial antenna. I've had it for many years. I got this probably around the year 2000, maybe a little before. So it's over 20 years old. There's nothing on it to break or wear out. And this gamma match works uh, just fine. You can use this on any Yagi. Okay. You could use this if you have a tower leg that's kind of vertical like this, uh, where this is ground. You can put the, um, let me flip it the other way, it makes more sense. If this is the ground right here, you can bring up a gamma match against the tower. Of course, it'll be many, many, many times bigger than this. But then you can get a very nice match. There are other ways of doing a match. You could put the same thing on the other side, but then that would be matching balanced to balanced. This is used because it's balanced to unbalanced and it matches very well. So I hope that answers the question. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the giveaway on the channel. We're trying to do this every month for the month of September. 2021, we're giving away an HF, um, let's see, it's an NFED half wave. If you would like to support this channel financially, you may certainly do so by going to dcastler.com slash support. One of my favorite ways there is Patreon. You can become a patron of this channel for really any amount that you want per month. It's a recurring thing. One of the nice things about Patreon is that my assistant puts up a video uh, early on Patreon every week. One of the week's videos will be up there early by several days so you can see it sooner than everyone else. Please subscribe, please click like and comment. And until we next meet, 73.